Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 12th. Yeah, it's for the 12th. And I decided to change it back to the daily vibes because I keep calling it the daily vibe. I started the reading out, and I've had to, I've had to start over many times because of it. And if people want the daily vibe, so yeah, this is the daily vibe. We're gonna keep it the daily vibe because I can't seem to stop saying it. So. There we go. Anyhow, we're going to get two of these. We're going to get one of these, and then we're going to use this. This is a daily preview. It is. It's a preview of what's to come. All right. So let's see what we got. What do we have? What's coming up? This is not science specific. It may or may not be for you. You know, it is what it is. What do we got? What do we got for the coming, upcoming energy? What message do I need to deliver today? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. Ooh, solar plexus chakra. I can. This is high confidence. I can do whatever I want. High confidence, high self esteem. So we got somebody who are here who is in their power, has this newfound confidence. I can do what I'm going to want, whatever I want. And I'm going to do whatever I want. So this is that I can energy. I know I can. Ooh, this is the two of pentacles. Movement, choices, and decisions. Choices. There's, there's so many options here. Choices. Which, what are you going to choose? So somebody has options, which door they're going to go through, which path they're going to take. So somebody's in the process of making a decision. They know that they have multiple options. Hmm. Somebody is moving in a new direction and they're about to choose a different direction. Let's get one of these. This is a change. It really is. The options are endless. You know, somebody may choose that to get married. Somebody may choose to change their job. Somebody may choose to uh, focus on traveling the world. You know, world travel. Somebody may focus on their spirituality. You know, somebody's about to choose a different path. Contract. Time of reevaluation. So somebody is reevaluating a contract. Could be could be their own life contract, you know, what they signed up for. Is this what I signed up for? Is this really what I signed up for? Is this really my purpose? I don't think so. So, yeah, I feel like we have somebody here that is facing a decision, you know, for trying to figure out what is going to bring balance back to their life, what is going to make them feel at peace, what is going to make them feel more harmonious. Feels like we have somebody here who, you know, is really trying to search for that, search for their life purpose, really. And it's like they get this realization. I can, I can do whatever I want. I can go, I can go in another direction right now. I can. So, hmm. now we do have somebody that is is definitely making a decision because this is definitely we have a new a change. Somebody is deciding. They have the confidence. <laughs> To go down this new path. So yeah, somebody has found the confidence to make a different choice. To move in a, di in a different direction. So what do we got? What do we got for the 12th? Somebody may be signing a new contract or an old contract. They may be, you know, ripping it up and throwing it away. Nope. 
You know, I don't want this. Definitely a time of reevaluation. <laughs> this is the Queen of Wands. Reversed. Seven of Swords. Wow. Could have been some cheating going on. I just got to be honest with you. There could have been some cheating. There could have been some deception. You know, I hate to come right out and say that with the Seven of Swords, but in many cases, the Queen of Wands can signify another woman or another person. Did I say the Queen of Swords? I meant to say the Queen of Wands if I said the Queen of Swords, but whatever. The Queen of Wands, when she comes up in a reading, can signify another woman, another person. So somebody is, is making a choice. Maybe they cheated. Maybe they lied. Somebody's turning their back, though, on this person. Maybe they're turning their back on the other woman. This doesn't have to be a fire sign. It could be any sign, okay? This is the other woman or the other person, the, the, the person that got in the way. Whoever this person is, doesn't matter what sign they are. Eight of Swords. Oh, my God. So, yeah, we have somebody who has been wearing a mask. Definitely somebody has been wearing a mask. Somebody has been trapped, trapped in their own little prisons, you know, hiding. It's like they're looking for a way out constantly and they can step out, but they're not. It almost like, it's almost like this person wants to get out, but it's nice and warm there. It's nice and comfortable there. You know, it's, 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 it's comfortable. This person wants out, but they're not taking the steps that they need to get out. They're not trying hard enough to get out. It's like they just, I don't know. They're staying there for some reason because it's warm. Maybe, maybe they're getting taken, maybe they're getting taken care of there. They have everything they need there. This person has everything they need with this other person. Doesn't have to, but this could be a man or a woman. They have everything they need with this other person, but they're still, they really want out. Hmm. Nine of swords. Ah, so yeah, this is, this is, uh, struggling. Somebody is struggling. They're feeling guilty, losing sleep at night. Really, really thinking a lot of thoughts here. Somebody is feeling guilty, having regrets, all feeling very lonely. This person is feeling very lonely, thinking about the mistakes that they have made. Death. Oh my goodness. So yeah, this is this is the end. This is the end. So this is, this is a release. So somebody is making a decision to release something that they have been lying about. They've been, they've been cheating or they've been deceiving themselves. There's, there's been some deception here. There's been betrayal and this, and this person feels guilty about the betrayal. This guy, this person has been really thinking and suffering and to the point of, you know, overwhelmed, overwhelming thoughts. This person has a lot of regrets. This person has regrets for deceiving, for lying, for not putting in effort, for not stepping outside of their comfort zone, for not facing their fears, for not making moves uh, before it was too late. It's like it's too late now. It's too late now. And they, they realize that it's probably too late now. So I, you know, I feel like we have somebody here that is making a decision to end something even though it's too late. It's like they, they know it's too late. But they know that, you know, they, they have to find their confidence to, you know, release so that they can have, you know, their new beginning. They can have their new life, you know, holding on to this pain, holding on to this suffering, holding on to this, these regrets and guilt, you know, holding on to the wrong person, you know, 
That hurts everybody involved, even the other person. So I think we got somebody here that is making a decision to change their direction. They're making the choice to do so because they're in some sort of false contract. They went into it blindly. And now it's like they found their confidence to release. They're going through some sort of transformation. Major life change here with the death card. Um, they're deciding to end this deceptive behavior. Even though it's probably too late. They may have got involved with this other person because they didn't want to grow old alone. This person's pretty old here. They didn't want to grow old alone. But in the meantime, you know, there was deception. It was a lie. There, you know. Now, this is like being in your own prison. So, well, the tower. So yeah, this is a realignment. This is a realignment. There's been some sort of upheaval, upheaval that may have caused this person to leave or this or this other person to make the decision. There's been some or there's going to be, okay, if it hasn't happened yet, there's going to be some sort of rude awakening here. There's going to be some sort of destruction, right? False sense of security. Once again, another person. Somebody's been holding on to the wrong one. This is the wrong one. There's no passion. There's no growth. There's no drive. There's no attraction. You know, this is the wrong one. Somebody has been holding on to the wrong one, whether it's a man or a woman, whatever. And it's like, you can't avoid the downfall anymore. And there's probably going to be some sort of shakeup, you know, that causes... Somebody to causes something to go downhill really, really fast. Put it that way. Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. We have this Knight of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles quite a bit. So somebody's deciding to be practical. They're try deciding to be responsible. Now, this person is very nurturing. This per person is very caring. This person um, is very devoted. Down to earth. And it looks like we have somebody here that may have turned their back on this person. Maybe this person rescued them. Now shit's going downhill. Two of cups. Two of cups. A four of wands. Well, isn't that just beautiful? So it looks to me like we have an ending and a new beginning here. There's going to be a celebration. There's going to be a celebration that brings two people together after somebody releases the wrong one. <coughs> You gotta get a drink. There's gonna be a party. There's gonna be a party coming up. There is a party coming up. I feel as though somebody <laughs> somebody's about to come together with with a new partner. Okay? It should focus in a minute, I believe. I don't know. I had it working earlier. Anyway, there's going to be a major change here. There's a transformation. Somebody is changing their direction. There's some sort of upheaval. I feel as though somebody has... 
had some sort of rude awakening and they have decided that you know they have to be practical or they want to be practical or they want stability they want security there's been some lies there's been some deception now there's been some sort of realignment there's been some sort of uh destruction or breakup there could have some there could have been a breakup or there's about to be a breakup there's about to be some sort of uh event if it hasn't happened already there's going to be some sort of event that that causes somebody to to you know go away okay somebody's leaving somebody is leaving you can't they can't hold on anymore it's not something you can hold on to it's inevitable it's inevitable. You can't hold on forever to this wrong person. And I feel like somebody is letting them go. It's like they're just going to let go. It's it's like this 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 choice. I'm, I'm just going to let go. I'm just going to let go of this false sense of security now. I'm going to let go. It's like somebody makes the choice to let it go. And it's like they want to go back. It's like they want to go back to the... Because to, this is like the, the deceptor, you know, wanting to release, wanting to, you know... deal with the mental conflict maybe they want to maybe they want to deal with the pain that they caused maybe maybe they do but maybe they fe they're fearful that it's too late you know they probably are fearful that it's too late i feel like we have somebody here that really wants to uh make something right it's like that's what it means that's what i, I mean, that's what it means that's what i hear they want to make something right um we have somebody here that is, look at these lovebirds. I just noticed the lovebirds. We have, we have, we have some lovebirds here. We have two lovebirds that are coming together. If they haven't met, they're going to meet at a celebration and they could lead to marriage. They could meet at a wedding. They could meet at any kind of a party. There's a party. There's some sort of celebration, which brings these two people together. endings bring new beginnings so there's some sort of well with this tower there's a clean slate there's something something is being removed something is being removed so that something new can begin and and that is exactly what this is a new solid stable opportunity is like right right here it's right here and you know this is this is something that you know you can bank on it's something solid it's something stable and i think that we have somebody that has really been deceiving themselves by holding on to this wrong person you know and now they 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 want to come out. They want to come out of hiding. They want to. They want to step forward. But I think this person is very scared. I do because you notice this person's looking in the other direction. It's like I. I don't think my offer will be accepted. I don't. I don't think if I. If I, I will be accepted. I, I. This is. This person is fearful of stepping forward because of their deception, because they cheated, or because they lied, or because they involved another person. It's like this person wants to come in and and offer something but they're they're afraid of being rejected they're afraid of being shut down they're afraid of being pushed away so i think we have somebody that wants to step forward you know and 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 they're very very worried they're very very worried about um being cut out they're really really worried about you know getting their head chopped off by this person i'm just being honest with you um so i i feel like we 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 have uh well we definitely have a realignment with the tower and the death card right we have we have a major change coming somebody is releasing and they're about to start a new life that could <laughs> whatever this new beginning is it can lead to true love and happiness okay it can could lead to marriage a new marriage contract and you see the rings here somebody may could even be proposing they could be getting ready to propose they may may maybe maybe they want to propose but they they're fearful of rejection they're fearful of rejection because of you know how they acted in the past i don't know um we have somebody here that is definitely worried they they have regrets they're feeling guilty 
and they want a new beginning. So I don't know if this is this is this is somebody new or somebody old, but it looks to me as though we have two people coming together. We do. Um, this is something to celebrate. We probably are dealing with an Earth sign. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Scorpio and Scorpio. So we could be dealing with a Scorpio. We could be dealing with a Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarius up here. Could be dealing with anybody. But we definitely have love here. We have an opportunity for two people to come together. But somebody is going to have to face their fears about rejection to get this love opportunity. They're going to have to step out of their comfort zone. So yeah, I mean, there's, whoops, there is love here. There's, there's some sort of event. There's, there is, there's an event that happens that causes somebody to choose another direction. There's movement here. There is absolute movement. I think one contract is coming to an end and a new one is beginning. Because somebody finds that confidence and it's going to take a minute to find that confidence because we have somebody here that is scared to death. Very scared. Scared to death. This person is scared to death. This person may be scared of being cheated on themselves. This person may have been cheated on by their other woman or by their other person. I mean, this could go so many different ways. We have somebody here that is scared to death of commitment. They're scared to death to fall in love, but I think that they are going to receive a stable, solid opportunity that is real. Okay, a real opportunity for love is coming. You have to choose, you know, if you want it, you have to choose to step outside of your comfort zone unless you want to grow old alone. You know, and hanging on to the wrong one will cause loneliness. So we have a major change here. Somebody is changing their direction because they don't want to be lonely. And because they make that choice to find their self-confidence and their self-esteem to do so, something new is coming. Something new is coming. But this person is scared. Both people are probably scared, but somebody is really scared. We're going to get a couple of these. Um, this person is taking notes. This person is very grounded. This person is at ease. This person is very spiritual, very connected to the earth. Could be an earth. I was just going to say an earth angel. Either way, we have some lovebirds here that are about to come together. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. This is new love. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going with the wrong one. Somebody is making a choice to change their direction and let go of the unrequited love situation once and for all. They're letting go. They're starting with a clean slate with their new love. So that's what I got. Con congratulations if this reading is for you. Um, this unrequited love situation is coming to an end. It is. Look at this where I put it. That's funny. It's, I didn't even notice it till now. Unrequited love situation is coming to an end. It's coming to an end. And I have to tell you, a lot of you aren't going to like to hear this, but it just came to me. Don't think it's your ex. Please. I mean, I suppose it could be. I think this is you letting go of the unrequited love situation. Unless you want to grow old alone. 
It's time for you to step outside of your comfort zone and go after new love. Stop holding on to the one that doesn't reciprocate. It's time for you to release the unrequited love situation. Don't point the finger at your ex and say, oh no, he's releasing the other one. That's you. It's time to get real. Get real. Get practical. Release. Release the false sense of security. Release the false contract. Release the false foundation because there's a new love here. Take your blindfold off. You can start over. You can fall in love again. You are worthy. Be practical. Good luck.